Hello everyone, as you can tell, I have tea in my hands. Um, I have kind of amassed a bit of tea in a little bit. Um, so I have like three different companies I bought tea from and it's not all at the same time, it's all kind of um, over a little bit of time. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so I'm gonna start talking about the teas. Um, I guess the first company I'm gonna talk about is David's Tea. Um, as you know, I uploaded my matcha advent calendar tea video, and I actually got some other teas. Um, I actually had a redemption for one of them. Um, I remember like before I went to the store, I was at 99 points, and then the next day at random, it just turned into like. 100 points, so 350 grams. So I went to the store and I think I had it, but I wasn't, I don't know if because they, maybe they just made it look like it was a frequent seeper, but it wasn't actually, but the guy gave me the 350 grams anyway. So I think it was a frequent seeper that I actually had, but if it wasn't, it was close and I, I was able to get this for free, I guess. But um, this is uh, 50, Two, well, it says 52 grams. So I, I guess at the store, the scales aren't really, like, you can't get 25 grams. You kind of have to get over. Like, it just, like, odd numbers they don't do, I guess. I'm not really sure. Um, but it doesn't, like, 25 grams or, like, odd numbers, I guess. So I've been wanting to try this tea for a while, and I wasn't sure if it was going to uh, be discontinued. I thought it was, but... I mean, it was still at the store. It's Jasmine Black Pearls. Um, I'm really excited to drink this. I, I don't drink black tea too often. Like, I'd rather have green tea or herbal or this, but I do really like black tea. Um, yeah, <laughs> there are definitely times where I do drink more black tea than, than others. I mean, I green tea is the tea I usually try to go to or like herbal, but I do like black tea. So, they're just... I mean, I like jasmine tea, and I'm just going to take out a ball. It's like a pearl. It's so cute. And it says, um, well, it said the directions say one to two perfect spoons, but I feel like that'd be too much, so I'd probably just use, like, one or two tea balls. And it comes with a fair amount. And this tea is expensive. It's, like, $25. So I'm glad I got this. I'm glad it was still available for me to get, and I got it for free. So, yeah. So, Jasmine Black Tea Pearls. Um, it's Black Tea Pearls from Hunan Province, China, scented with jasmine blossoms. And I really like jasmine tea, so I thought jasmine black tea would be delicious. And next up is, this is a tea that's supposed to be retired soon, I think. Like, it's going to be discontinued, and I never got it, but I wanted to get it. It's an oolong. It's the Tiquan Yin oolong tea from Nantou, Taiwan. So that sounds really nice. And this is like 28 grams. I mean, it just looks like regular oolong. Uh, well, like just like that. And then you know, oolong is really pretty when it uh, brews or steeps because they unfurl. And it's really pretty. Um, and the next, this is a tea like. When, like, fall was just beginning, they had kind of, like, fall fresh fruity teas come out. And most of them were online exclusive. And I kind of wish that wasn't a thing anymore. But this was actually in store, and I wanted to try it, so I thought, why not? It's a oolong, blueberry fields forever. Sounds like a fruity oolong tea. Sounds really nice. Uh, yeah, just like a mix of fruit and apple, cornflower... Um, bean peels, not really sure what that does. Also has butterfly pea flower and corn flower and oolong and just looks like a really nice tea. Now, I haven't tried any of these teas I'm showing you, but I will because <laughs> they all sound really delicious. Um, next up, this is a Halloween tea. I didn't think it'd be in store, but it was there. I didn't want to get too much, but I wanted to try it. It's the strawberry gummy. So it's a herbal tea with actual like gummy bears in it and they had another one called Cola Crush which is a black tea with um, the Coca-Cola bottle gummies in it. That's only an exclusive so I wasn't able to try that but it does sound interesting with the gummies but <laughs> uh, they're actual 
gummy bears. Here, I'll try to show them to you. They're just really tiny. So I don't know if it's gonna like cleaning the steeper, it's gonna be weird because they're gonna be like gross or are they still gonna stay the same shape? I'm not really sure, but I'm excited to try that. Maybe tonight, I don't know. <laughs> I Yeah, that might be nice to try. I don't know, I'll try that eventually. And the last, I was only gonna do like 25 grams of this tea, but the people were like, oh my gosh, like we're selling so much out of it. I think you're gonna want more than 25 grams. So I got 50 grams. It's the sweet potato pie. This came out last year and I think it sold out in like a matter of hours or something and people are like in love with it. It's like the new pumpkin chai. Like pumpkin chai, well some teas, like David Tea has many teas that are, have kind of like a big following. And this one has a big following. So I'm glad I have it. Because last year it was on my exclusive. And then I sold out. And now it's here. Back and I'm excited to try it. Um, the guy who sold it to me, he was really nice. Um, he told me if you like s'mores chai, you would like this, but better. I do really like s'mores chai and I have a lot of it. And I really wanted to try sweet potato pie. So I think that will be a good tea to drink. Um, next up is... Okay, so this is a tea store, um, but like a tea company, you can buy online, um, haven't planned on doing that, but it's kind of somewhat local to me, it's a little bit of a drive, but the store is like in a market, and the hours say it's only open on Saturdays, and I work on Saturdays, um, but there are some health stores that are like in the same area as that farmer's market, where they sell some of the teas, so... On this like health store called Sequoia or something like a natural food store it had some tea and it had two teas and they had some matchas I was kind of gonna get the matchas but the matchas were like $15 and I already kind of had enough money spent on tea and I just I also had the matcha advent calendar so that will be giving me a lot of tea a lot of matcha and already I have a lot of matcha so maybe next time I go in that area I will get some more but um two teas this tea company is called beautiful um and it's a little bit more expensive it's kind of like David's tea price I guess maybe more yeah I guess it depends um so this first one is rooibos tea they only had two loose leaf and then they had like three matchas um, this is the Tropical Twist, and it was 50 grams, and it's rooibos tea. Uh, rooibos red, oh, like a red rooibos, I guess. Orange peel, pineapple, safflowers, and natural flavoring. I thought that'd be nice, and I just really wanted to try the beautiful teas, so I just grabbed the two teas that were there. Um, and then next is a black tea, it's the Organic Black Maple. <laughs> There's no maple flavoring, so I'm going to see, it's going to be interesting to see if it actually tastes like maple. But it says it's tea, and has safflower and natural essences. So I guess the maple flavoring is in the natural essence, so let's hope it's a good tea. This was 50 grams. This was $9.25, the black tea, and the rooibos was $11. So, a little pricey, but it's all good. They sound good, and hopefully I'll be able to get more. Um... Now I'm going to talk about the next company I got from. I got it kind of at like a market store, kind of like, um, yeah, like a market store, I guess, uh, with like fresh fruit and produce and that stuff. And there was a tea from Beautiful where it was masala chai but rooibos. And I really do love chais, but I love chais when it's a rooibos or herbal base. I do like black chais and green chais, but I am always down to try new rooibos chai. But because I couldn't find the masala chai at the store that I went to, um, I actually went um, to this farmer's market store place thing, um, and I knew that they had tea. And they had a tea that I knew hopefully it was going to be there, so I went to get that tea, but I found this tea. And these prices are really good, so 100 grams are $9.95, so just under $10, so that's pretty good for 100 grams. Like David's tea or Beautiful, 100 grams would be like 20 bucks. so... It's pretty good. But I guess the company is all about tea. <laughs> but yeah, they had some teas. I didn't grab all of them, but I got four. So this is rooibos masala chai. 
contains ginger, card cardamom, cinnamon, black and white pepper, clove, and nutmeg. So that just sounds really nice. And that sounds like the masala chai I got from that craft store. I had it in my... I uh, have a tea haul that I posted a couple weeks ago that I was hoping to get more of that masala chai, but they it wasn't available. And, you know, that was really good masala chai. So when I saw the Vargas masala masala chai i wanted to get this and it's 100 grams and it sounds good ingredients and i do love chai so because you can't go wrong with that and also i mean it's all about tea but then it's also kind of like german like there's some german german words on it so i'm not really sure where the store got this tea but yeah um uh, so this is the South African Rooibos Cape Orange. So it's Rooibos tea with aroma, peel of orange, and sapphire petals. Yeah, kind of obscure packaging, I guess, because I'm not really sure, like, what the company is or if, like, where All About Tea is, but, yeah. Um, and this is the tea. So this is why I went to the store, because I was hoping that they were still going to have this tea. I recently tried the the collapsing susha from T2. Um, the they have like really Russian caravan, but it's a collapsing susha, and I was really scared to try that tea. But I wanted to finish it, like drink it up, so it didn't go to waste. And I actually liked it, so I really wanted to try this collapsing susha. So it's Terry collapsing susha, just like black tea but smoked. And I heard there's also unsmoked collapsing susha. Um, Jackie Allen from YouTube, she really likes unsmoked lapsang souchong, so maybe eventually I'll try, uh, unsmoked souchong, but yeah, I'll be excited to try that. Um, hopefully it's not too different from what, the one I already tried. And then the last one, it's a flavored green tea, surprise, surprise, not really. <laughs> um, I feel like whenever I find a new place with tea, I always try to get a green tea, this was the only green tea, I think, and it's Sencha green tea with aroma, sunflower petals, cornflower petals, and rose petals. That just sounds like a nice green tea. And there are the teas that I got from this All About Tea or Rond Felt. Um, $9.95 for 100 grams, that's pretty good. So those are all the teas. Again, it wasn't all at once, it was all kind of... Um, over time, I guess. Not, like, too long. Maybe, like, a couple weeks, I guess. Or a week, basically. And yeah. Um, so, yeah, those are the teas. And I'm excited to try all of them. So, yeah, I guess if you've heard of this company, let me know in the comments. Or even Beautiful. I know a lot of people know about Dave and Sue, so. But, yeah, I mean, if there's a tea that you see here that you'd love to try, let me know down in the comments. And I hope you enjoy this video. Um... There will be more videos coming up, so check back, you know, subscribe, like, comment, and hit that bell notification so you know when I upload a video. I try to do it, like, once or twice a week. Um, try to be very regular, I guess. And, but yeah, hopefully you have a great day, enjoy a great cup of tea, and I'll see you next time. Bye.